In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a macro diffuser from Photography Accessories. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new macro diffuser from Photo Accessories. They are from Australia, so if you're interested, you can check out in the description below. Their website is www.photoaccessories.com.au but before we get into that check out the new t-shirt and mug if you want to get hold of your macro world merchandise check the link in the description below you can find t-shirts hoodies mugs and everything else to show your support for the macro world so this macro diffusion system has a nice diffused um, element on the lens and I think that's going to go well with jumping spiders. So we're going to be photographing a jumping spider today because their eyes are very reflective and it will give us an idea of what this is going to look like with the shadows and with the reflections as well. So that's why we're going to photograph a jumping spider. So let's get a jumping spider out of one of the enclosures, bring them down here and we will set up a autumn scene and test out this macro diffuser. Right, so first of all, we have the Lazy Susan. We can use this because it will enable us to be able to rotate our subject if it starts running around. We've got various different things like we're a bit of soil. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to tip the soil out. This is the part where it gets messy. We have a bit of brown that's like bedding for tarantulas. Let's mix that in a little bit. And we have our leaves. These are the good old leaves you're always using. And we'll sprinkle them on. And again, as usual, we won't know where the spider's going to go or what the spider wants to do. So we just basically make... Um, you know, I'm not going to use that. I'll use that in the last one. I put some twigs in there. Uh, we're just going to make a kind of a scene like that and the idea here is i'm going to put my spider onto the scene let it run around and we can test out this diffuser now of course i can test the diffuser out on a static object like my chewbacca lego figure or a battery but where's the fun in that hey let's just test it out on a jumping spider i don't put the spider on there yet we're going to set up the um, the diffuser so i have my canon eos r i have adapted the canon 100 millimeter macro I also have the uh, the Rhinox adapter, that's the uh, DCR 250. And I also have a manual lens which we can reverse fit onto the camera to try out some reverse lens macro with this diffuser set. So that's what we are going to do. I have a new flash, this is the Yong Nuo 968 EXRT. I was going to do a review on this but I feel there's too many reviews on the channel coming already so I'm going to skip this one. It's basically just a replacement for my aging uh, flashes. As with most speed lights, the EOS are so new that the Young Neural systems don't really support it. But since we're using it in manual mode, it doesn't stop us. Okay, so the diffuser system, let's just move this lazy Susan over, comes in three parts. We have the flash bounce uh, element. So this goes onto the flash and the light bounces off of this. That then goes through this small diffuser. And then we have this element, which is the most interesting part of this flash diffuser. This part wraps around your lens and gives a nice diffused light. That's the part that I'm hoping is going to create a nice reflection in our spider's eyes. So let me get this on here now. The first part is this one. Simply put it onto our flash all right so that goes on like like that make sure that's tight okay so we have it on like that the next part we take the flash off and that is this little diffusing system here which goes onto the velcro here comes through our hot shoe hooks on like that I just took that string out of the way 
So the light at the moment comes from the flash, hits the bounce through this diffuser, and then the final part, which is the most interesting part, is this part here. This wraps around the front of the lens, so the light comes through this diffuser, but I also think this is going to give us some nice reflections in spider's eyes. And there we go. We are ready to go. Looks funky. We've got the light bouncing, comes from the flash, bounces off the reflector, through this diffuser, and then through this part here. They do come in two different sizes. This one is the small one. Sometimes I wish I'd gone for the big one, but yeah, we'll make things do with the small one. Okay, so now we have that set up. We get rid of the chair. And we're going to get a spider onto our setup. Okay, so here we go. We have a female regal jumping spider. This is a Philippus Regis. And uh, for fans of the channel and regulars, I, I have the bad news to tell you that Buster passed away this past weekend. Um, yeah, we lived a long life and he was happy. But unfortunately, it was his time. Okay, so I'll just put it on the edge there. Getting back to the flash, okay? This is... Um, it's a TTL flash with high speed sync. We are not going to be using TTL because again, the TTL is not compatible with the EOS R. A to D works flawlessly. We're going to start off with 132 power. So she's having a run do around there now. Okay, so we're just going to set a background up just in case it comes into view. Now for this, I'm going to use my new textures. These are my textures from the Autumn and Winter collection. Check out the website or the, in the description below if you want to get hold of these textures, these are mostly aimed towards um, autumn and winter colours, so you've got a lot of cold and cool colours like that one. And again, you don't have to have these, you can make these yourself, but it does help support the channel if you do purchase any of my textures or presets. So again, check out in the description below for a link to my autumn and winter background textures. So for this one, let's have a look, what do we want to use? That one is a very nice texture, so we're going to use that one. Now it's not guaranteeing that we're going to have this texture in the image, but if it's all set up and ready to go, we don't have to worry about it. So that just sits there on the background, so if we look at a very low angle like this, you see me? We'll be able to say that the background matches the scene and you've not just got a wall. Okay, so let's have a go at photographing her now. Let's go F8 to start off with. 1 200th of a second, which is my max flash sync speed. ISO 100. All right, let's have a look at this then. Way too dark. Again, we're in manual, so we're going to put the power up to... Let's go 1 8th power. Still too dark. And again, it's just one of them things, because you're diffusing the light, you have to put more power into it. I'm going to... let's go full power. Let's just blind her. She looks beautiful in them images. What I want to do, though, I want to get closer. I want to get right up to her face with this diffuser and get a shot. So there's two things we've got to do. First of all, we've got to reduce the working distance of this lens. So we can either put the Rhinox on here or use extension tubes. And then we have to get uh, lifted up because obviously the closer we get, the more things we're going to bump into with the lens. So we need to lift her up just a little bit. Let's try the Rhinox out first. So the Rhinox is going to be the obvious choice because I don't have to take the lens off the camera. I can just clip it straight onto the front. I don't have to mess around with the diffuser. Okay, so, right, so that's going to enable us to get a lot closer, but this stick here is going to be in the way. So I need to manipulate her by using the Macro World Mug. We're going to turn it upside down. Let's get rid of these sticks. We don't want them in the shot. So she's going to climb onto my finger. Okay, so we are not disturbing her. We are not hurting the spider. Come on, she doesn't want to come off my finger. There we go. Okay, 
and you always wipe your fingers just to break the bungee cord because everywhere they go they put down a bungee cord in case they fall off if i was to pull away instantly i would drag her off the mug because she's got this little bungee cord so you have to just rub your fingers now with this what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to mess off the lazy susan because i can just rotate the mug around so it's going to be okay i'm going to bring up my background Again, I do like this background here. Bring around. Make sure there's no mug, you know, the white of the mug visible. And now we're going to take another picture. Okay, we have to get a lot closer this time. Beautiful. Let's quickly change up the background. Let's bring up this nice, uh, actually, let's go with the one that looks like blue ice. That's the one I'm going to use now. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right, last thing I want to do is I want to try my... Tokina 28mm manual lens. We are going to reverse mount this onto my camera and we're going to give that a go. We are now ready. Again, settings are 1 200th of a second. Again, that's my max sync speed for this flash. ISO 100 and the lens being manual is now set to f11. Now, I can focus quite easily with this because the EVF will bump up the ISO in the EVF, not the exposure. In the AVF, so I can see, which is it's another fantastic part of mirrorless cameras. We need more power, we don't have any more power with the flash. So that's quite dark, that is, and that's because we've changed lenses. If different lenses have different characteristics when it comes to light, it's uh, as simple as that. So, we're going to put the ISO up to 400. I'm not going to drop the shutter speed because I don't want to introduce camera shake. I like to not use tripod, as you very well know. beautiful images so you can see off those images the nice reflections on the eyes and the nice diffused light i got to say that when it comes to jumping spiders this might be my new go-to macro flash diffuser and a plus point it fits perfect in the bag because it flat packs it's a little bit of a thing when it comes to the trim macro flash although it's convenient and it's great it has a very large uh, bag space that it takes up whereas this setup does not so um, i might take that on a macro adventure one day and see uh, see how it goes so that is my first initial first impressions of this new macro diffuser from photo accessories again check out their link in the description below if you want to go and check out their website i will be doing a full review of this diffuser in the coming months again i have to use these things before i can put out a review so that's it for this video again check out links in the description check out the macro world merch links in the description it does help support the channel helps me to bring you this free content but from this jumping spider and from myself i want to thank you for getting to the end of this video and as always i'll see you on the next one and we've got various different <sighs> man i've got to go to this gym turning into a running joke on this channel <sighs> yeah 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 in this video i'm going to be taking a look at a new diffuser from uh, if you want to get some macro world um before we do that oh, let's go back again delete all that extension tubes and i might try a reverse ring 